Hey guys, before I start off with the video, a fun fact. 40% of the anabolic steroid users face some form of gynecomastia on or off their cycle, which means that even though they are taking steroids or they stop taking steroids, gynecomastia can be formed and 40% of the people who use anabolic steroids go through it. I just thought I'd, you know, share this with you all. Now, uh, I know I made a couple of videos on gynecomastia previously, but uh, uh, I have got, gathered some more information because even after making such videos, there are still a lot of myths and doubts creeping in people's mind. And I thought, you know, why not clear them all out? Okay. So what is gynecomastia? In simple words, gynecomastia is the formation of uh, female breast-like tissues uh, under your nipples or, you know, in your lower chest. So there are two types of gynecomastia uh, mainly, which are, which are glandular uh, gynecomastia, which is, you know, proper gland that is formed, you know, and that enlarges and... Uh, you know, you can't do much about it and I'll talk about that in this video. The second type is, you know, typical man boobs, which we find in overweight people and uh, people who do not have a proper and healthy uh, eating habit, okay, which I suffered from, which you can clearly see from my pictures. I had typical, I had typical, you know, uh, fat body and I also had a lot of fat in my chest and other areas as well. So if, first of all, I would like to tell you and I would like to clear this out. If you have fat all over your body, most likely you are just holding a lot of fat, okay. Now fat and uh, gynecomastia also has a relation which I'll talk later. Now the gland, okay, this is the typical, you know, example of gynecomastia. Now there are a few ways, you know, uh, which I have talked to people and uh, talked to a lot of bodybuilders about, uh, you know, how uh, the symptoms of this and how you can detect it at an early stage. The sooner you detect, the better it is for you. I also had a lot of clients who deal with this because of previous, uh, you know, uh, anabolic steroid usage and there have been also clients you know who got it due to puberty now your nipples are the biggest part okay the nipples uh, decides everything now for example some of the symptoms that are related to uh, the early stages of gynecomastia would be tenderness which means you know if you touch or if you pinch your nipples you feel you know slight pain over there okay which can increase over time the second would be itching a lot of itching over uh, your nipples for a prolonged period of time can actually mean that you know you might be suffering from uh, uh, some sort of uh, gynecomastia also if you pinch your nipples you'll feel some kind of gland forming over there there's always a gland but it's just enlarging okay so remember that you know these are also one of the symptoms and the other thing is you know just large looking puffy looking big looking nipples okay so some people might not have puffy looking nipples some people might have you know puffy looking nipples but some other people might have large nipples in this case larger than usual or larger than life in this case as well you can uh, think that it is related to gynecomastia as you can see from the pictures now how does this actually happen now the simple way this happens is you know your body aromatizes testosterone or your body uh, converts your testosterone into estrogen as simple as that so this can happen in two ways uh, for bodybuilders who are taking steroids your body you are putting in too much of testosterone which your body cannot handle so your body is like dude i don't need all this testosterone so what i'm going to do is i'm going to play safe and i'm going to convert it into estrogen the second thing that can happen is due to your age now when boys hit puberty the amount of testosterone your body you know uh, 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 produces is so much that you know your body can't handle it so your body is like i do not need all this extra testosterone so guess what i'll do i'll just turn it into estrogen now let's take an example of people who go to the gym or a person who goes to the gym for a person who goes to the gym of course he will use up more testosterone than a person who doesn't go to the gym so it is highly likely that people who don't go to the gym you know can uh, have this uh, issues of uh, gynecomastia because you know um, this is not actually true, but uh, uh, just speaking from logic, logically speaking, you know, uh, a person who doesn't go to the gym, of course, will not need as much as testosterone as a person who goes to the gym, right? So the more chances of you getting puffy nipples are when you don't exercise. So make sure you go to the gym or you perform some kind of physical activity. So that's uh, another important point. So guys, I've seen a lot of uh, videos on gynecomastia. Not many people talk about this thing called aromatase. This is the enzyme or this is the basically the catalyst that is the cause of excess of estrogen in your body. Now, there are certain uh, supplements or certain drugs that you can take 
in order to reduce this but i'm not going to talk about that in this video so make sure you go to your uh, uh, doctor before you you know even try all this so guys as i told you i had uh, the issue of uh, being overweight which was purely because of my bad eating habits but i also had puffy nipples so when i went online and checked for videos uh, there were not much information there so i just thought it was gyno i was depressed in life my self esteem was anyways low uh, this guy uh, gyno looking uh, you know nipples just made it you know even worse and you know that's when i decided to go to the gym and what i found out was most of it was actually fat and when i got absolutely shredded after 2 years which you can see from this uh, picture you can clearly see that my puff nipples are still puffy okay and uh, these kind of issues usually go away when your testosterone and hormonal uh, imbalances go down as you reach the age of 23 and 24 so uh, if you still have it after 25 26 years old maybe then uh, there's some issue but uh, uh, if uh, if you have puffy nipples and you are all ripped you know and you don't have any kind of symptoms that i talk to you about then you are just fine uh, if you still want to go to a doctor go and just talk to him and uh, if he says that you know you don't need a surgery then chill coming to the surgery part surgery is actually the only way to remove you know proper gynecomastia by proper gynecomastia i mean a gland that has you know uh, become so huge and you know which actually looks like a female breast tissue the problem with bodybuilding is the more ripped you get the more you know uh, it is visible so in my case my uh, puffy nipples were more visible when i got absolutely ripped okay so it was very uh, evident and people actually thought it was gyno but i knew it was not but uh, if you have that uh, uh, small tissue over there even when you're ripped which, which you can clearly see from these images then i think you know you need to get a surgery it would cost a lot of money but uh, uh, i'll display the amount of money uh, it will cost on the screen i'll have to ask a couple of people but you have to get it done if you are worried about the aesthetic appeal now talking about the aesthetic appeal what kind of clothes can you wear being very honest i did not have gyno but i had very big man boobs okay i was really ashamed by that even though it was i was the only reason for the cause of that in the first place but there are few things that you can do i wish i knew this long back what i used to do is i used to wear two vests uh you know uh, inner wears okay what it means is if i have a school uniform or i have a college uniform i used to wear two vests underneath just to make sure my you know chest is flat and chest is tight so i did that for 2 years not really no no one knew about it but eventually uh, when i was changing my clothes for the football match someone saw it and yeah people started making fun of me that's when i actually decided you know it's time to get rid of it and after that day i never wore it but uh, this is what you can do there are compressions made you know the sleeveless compressions made uh, actually for this issue okay you'll find it on ebay and other websites i'll leave few links in the description box and this is how this is how it looks guys uh, always make sure you buy white one because uh, white one would go with anything or a black one if you're wearing t-shirts okay because uh, and as long as your t-shirt is not transparent any color would go inside but uh, this is what i would do if you know my self esteem was so low because of gynecomastia and uh, the thing about gynecomastia surgery is after you get the surgery done for a few weeks or a two or three weeks i think you'll have to cover your uh, 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 chest with the uh, whatever the doctor recommends you to use so after that you'll be absolutely fine few pointers guys uh, i have seen with lot of surgeries that there is a huge scar mark remaining uh, you know after the surgery so uh, make sure any uh, plastic surgeon that you visit make sure that you know he is well uh, experienced in this more than education or degrees it's all about the experience and experience uh, dif differs when you know a person who doesn't have muscle and a person who has muscle if he uh, removes two less then you might have to go back to the surgery for the surgery and you know again you'll have to pay him but there are certain doctors you know uh, who would uh, uh, not charge you anything more uh, uh, if you're going for the surgery again so make sure that uh, you choose a proper doctor a proper cosmetic surgeon or a proper plastic surgeon who has lot of experience handling people with muscle and without muscle when you have muscle the aesthetic appeal is very important and you do not want your one chest to go out of symmetry with the other okay so symmetry is very important when it comes to uh, you know having an aesthetic look okay so these are the few points regarding gynecomastia guys in simple words it's all caused because of you know uh, too uh, too much testosterone or too less testosterone basically when you have very less testosterone especially when you get older uh, you might tend to get you know uh, those saggy chest or uh, you know uh, especially when you have too much testosterone uh, and uh, your body converts it into estrogen so that's pretty much it about gynecomastia now few myths i've seen a video recently uh, by a youtuber who said that 
doing chest press incline dumbbell press and you know push-ups and you know all these chest exercises can remove the gynecomast it is absolutely bullshit uh, you can't uh, spot reduce or sp it's a gland if it's a gland you just can't remove it guys it's basically a gland, gland which you'll have to remove via surgery if it's fat maybe doing uh, burning a lot of calories in the gym and eating right will help you burn that fat off like i did but if it's gyno it's gyno you just have to go to the doctor get it surgically removed so don't fall fall for this bullshit that you know uh, build, uh, working out your chest and uh, doing a lot of exercises can uh, uh, give you a better shape or the more you, you build proper chest muscles and the more lean you get the more prominent your gyno will look so don't think that just because you're burning fat uh, you will uh, get a properly shaped chest in my case it was different i had fat so i burned it my chest still looks looked great but if you have proper gyno then uh, you know the more fat you lose the more uh, prominent and the more uh, breastly it will look if i may say so okay so that's all about gyno guys and one more thing is people say that uh, if you have issues with puffy nipples you shouldn't masturbate a lot you shouldn't have sex that's completely bullshit guys the amount of testosterone that you lose when you you know uh, uh masturbate jack off or you know have sex or whatever or, or do any sexual activity it's not that much guys so do not worry about it uh, causing too much of a drop in testosterone that your body will automatically increase estrogen that's absolutely false and also one more thing is doing a lot of squats and uh, low body exercises can help you in increasing your testosterone that is also another myth temporarily it increases your testosterone but 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 doing any uh, heavy movement will also increase your testosterone but not enough to make sig help you make significant gains so remember that point as well guys because I've seen a lot of theories being put out. Theory and practical application is completely different, guys. What you might learn in the book might not actually be the same uh, when you do the practical thing, okay? So, uh, all these are the myths. So, do not reduce your, you know, masturbate, masturbation because masturbation 21 times a month, some study has found that it can, uh, uh, you know, reduce the uh, risk of, uh, you know, sexual uh, related or uh, reproductive system based uh, cancer. So, just jack off that's all i can say so that's all about gynecomastia guys uh, important links are in the description if you have any questions i promise that i'll respond to all the comments uh, for this video because i'm a little bit free now so i'll respond to all the comments so and if you want to ask personally about your situation about gynecomastia email me at shreyaskamathfit at gmail.com i hope this video has helped you out guys and uh, one you know bonus for you guys people have been asking me does uh, smoking weed uh, can, uh, cause you know uh, redu reduction in testosterone so they have done few studies on that as well they took men and women and they found out that no hormonal uh, imbalance was caused or no uh, effect on um, uh, your hormone was caused but this doesn't mean that you can smoke weed all day because I've been seeing lately the youth you know they're all about that you know high life so keep yourself you know uh, do it I'm not judging you but uh, it's not healthy to do that as well uh, that too you know especially when you are getting bonged all the time so that's all for the video guys i hope you all liked it and uh, i hope i covered everything about gynecomastia in this video let me know what you think uh, and let me also know what you want to watch next also the bodybuilding video is coming next after this i just wanted to get it out of the way thanks a lot guys peace out subscribe to my channel i'll be back again goodbye